So to get started, um, I'll show you a close-up of the yarn that I'm using, and this is Deborah Norville Collection Serenity Chunky White Yarn, and it's a number six, and I'm using three skeins at one time. And to start, you want to pull from the center of each one and get it pulled out so that you're not struggling with it as you're creating your um, scarf. Sometimes the outside strand comes out through the middle, and you want to bring, go on the other side and pull that back out to the outside and you want to check all of them and make sure that's not happening this one's happening so I got to pull that out because that might cause some trouble later on and this one the outside strand is already here okay so then I've measured off three yards for my long tail and this is called a long tail cast on so here's my long tail I'm going to push that over here and then I made a slip knot right at the three yard mark and to make a slip knot you just go like this loop over and then bring that strand to the back like a pretzel and then pull the back strand through the circle and then you'll notice there's a knot side and a slip side you tighten the knot side and you put you open this up big enough to go onto your arm and then you tighten it a little bit, not too much. So to cast on, I have my long tail over here and this is called my working yarn right here. And what you do is go like this and just pick it up like this and go on this side of that strand and then just pick up this loop right here and put that loop on your hand and then tighten the strands underneath. Your slip knot is going to count as one stitch. So there's the second one right there. So now again, I'm just going, I've got two strands there. I'm going to go between them like this, pull it up, you just have two loops there. I'm going to pick this, put my hand in from this side and just pick up this loop and put it on my hand like that and that's the third one always tighten so it should look like this underneath again pull this up go on this side grab this loop you don't twist it or anything and just slide it onto your hand and tighten underneath and then lift this up go on this side pick up this second strand on the other side and just slide that onto your hand and tighten underneath. So at this point I have one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to do one more. Go like this and pick up the other one like this and slide that on my hand. Six. I'm going to do one more. I'll do a seven. This and this. I love doing these. It's exciting. Always tighten. Okay, so this is what's left of my long tail. And I won't be working with this yarn anymore. So I just let that go by the wayside. And now the arm that has the loops on it is the arm that I want to hold the working yarn like this. And all you do to create a stitch is move, hold, you're holding this just like this. Move this strand off onto that strand that you're holding. And you see it created a loop there. And I dropped that loop onto this working strand. And all you got to do is move that over here and then tighten it. Okay, now my yarn is starting to pull. You can do this standing up and then you could walk away from it and it'll start pulling it out too. Okay, so the strand, the working strand has to go back in my hand over here. I'm going to pull this off and just move that loop over here and then tighten. Okay, then back over here this strand pull this loop off and slide it over here and tighten. Back over here, 
slide this off, move it over here, tighten. Back over here, slide this off, move it over here, and tighten. Slide off, move it over here to your opposite hand, and I want to make sure my work, my uh, long tail doesn't get in the way. Okay, now I need to tighten this. Okay. Now my loops are in this arm, so I'm going to hold the working strand with this hand and simply drop this off. I'm working with three strands as if they're only one strand. And I'm going to move this so oh, I forgot. My word. Okay. Okay, so this loop needs to come back up here, and I need to work off the very last loop over here. So I was able to backtrack and put that loop back up on my arm over there. So this one is the very last one and that's actually the slip knot and I'm going to put that over here and tighten. So they come completely off your arm and there's the that's the slip knot right there and if you pull this down that's the end of row one of your arm knitted scarf. Okay so now when all the loops are over on the other side you hold the working strand now in this hand and all you do is do the opposite pull this off and move them back over to the arm, the other arm. So it doesn't matter which arm you start on. And then you tighten that and put the working strand back over here move that off, put it over here, tighten it, move this off Drop that loop and put the new loop over here, tighten it, strand back here, pull the that loop off, push this over, tighten, hold on to this, drop that loop, put the new loop over here on your opposite arm. Hold the working yarn, move this loop off, let it drop onto the working yarn. Take the new loop and just push it onto your opposite arm. Hold this, take the last loop, push it off onto the working yarn and take the new loop and put it on your opposite arm. So now that completes row two. So I'll do this side again. Okay, so I've got all three strands in my hand. You want to make sure that you're always pulling off the three strands. Now I'm going to hold the working yarn in my hand, move this, move the loop off onto the working yarn, put the new loop of working yarn over onto the opposite hand, and tighten. Working strand back in this hand, loop off, new loop over here, tighten. Hold on to the working yarn and you just continue like this back and forth and it doesn't take long at all. I think it's so much fun. I've been teaching my daughter and her friend, anybody who wants to learn. I just think it's so much fun. So I just keep going. like that. So easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's so much fun. Okay, so that's the end of row three. And I'm going to go ahead and um, get down near the end of my scarf and then I'll come back on camera and show you how to bind off and then sew it together. And then bef when you get down to the end, you want to make sure that you have the same three yards that we started with on the long tail. You want to have at least three yards left in your skeins so that you can bind off and then use that end to sew the sides of your um, scarf together.
Okay, I'm back with my very, very, very long scarf. And I was determined to do all three skeins of the uh, Serenity Chunky Yarn. And uh, this definitely would wrap around about four, maybe even five times. And it measures 12 feet long. So what I would recommend is that when, if you want to um, just start with three skeins of Serenity Chunky, and when you get six feet long, just um, bind off and create a scarf. And then you can get two scarfs out of three skeins easily. And I did this in an hour. And then another thing that I learned is that at one point I was dragging this along the floor. So it picked up a lot of um, dog hairs. I have a little dog. So it's just like, eh, maybe I wouldn't want to do that next time. I would just want to keep it on the couch or something like that while I was working on it. So, um, but I guess there's a lot of possibilities when it's this long. And I'm so, so happy with these colors. I just think it's beautiful. It's got some burgundy in it and dark brown and gold color, like a rust color. It's really nice. It's a nice uh, color of yarn. So anyway, now I'm going to show you how to bind off. And I've got my last set of loops right here. And I've got only this much yarn left of all three skeins. So now I am going to show you um, how to bind off. And it doesn't matter which side, which arm your loops land up on. You can bind off on either side. But my loops just um, happen to land up on this side. And so I'm going to hold my yarn like I showed you before, how to do a row. And I'm going to work off two stitches. So I'm going to work one take this and work off the second one like that okay now I'm still tightening every single stitch now I'm gonna not hold on to my working yarn and all you do is take the first loop that you uh, stitch that you created over here and move it over the second one that you created just like that and that's the bind off it's just falling off and I'm, it's not gonna be on my arm anymore so now I need to pick up the working yarn again, work off one more loop, put it onto the opposite arm, tighten, and then take the previous loop, move it over the new loop, and let that drop off. Now we have two stitches bound off. Now pick up the working yarn, create a new loop, put that on the opposite hand, tighten, take the previous loop, and drop that off. Pick up the working yarn and slide the next loop off. Create a new loop over here. Tighten. Take the previous loop over here and bind that one off. Just let it drop down. Pick up your working yarn again. Move that one off. Put this one over. Take the previous loop and let it drop. Now we're down to the last two loops. I'm going to put this new loop over here, tighten, move the previous loop over the new loop like this. Now all the loops are off my arm and you'll notice across the end where I bound off it looks like kind of like chain stitches. So each one of those is one of the stitches that I bound off. And at the very end, you would just, you could either bring all this through, but we don't really need all of it. We could probably just use maybe, um, maybe two feet. So I'm just going to cut that off at around two feet. And now you still have that loop on your hand and you don't want that to fall off or anything like that. You still have to finish it. So what you do is you take the last loop and you take the strand that you just cut and just pull that through the last loop and bring that strand all the way through. And then you pull that and it locks in place right there. Okay, so now I did most of this already. What you want to do is line up your scarf 
where all the stitch one side is all facing up so I want this side to be facing up where you see these ovals and if you look on the wrong side you don't see those ovals so you want everything to be so go through your entire scarf and make sure that it's all um, the loops facing up I think right here I got it I got it here and this is twisted over here so I want to untwist it okay so I got the whole thing on the same side right here now I'm going to take my end that I had and I have this end over here I'm, I'm trying to get rid of all this stuff from my scarf okay so I have this end over here and this so these are my cast on stitches these are my bind off stitches so all I need to do is I can basically it's not it may not end up where the two ends are together you might have one down here and one up here but since they're both here I would just tie these together this needs to be cut shorter too I don't need all that okay now I can just take these two and tie them together like that okay then I would just weave these ends um, you want to catch these stitches on the end and it's not it's not like a life or death situation here because you're not going to be able to see this so I, I would just take a loop from each side and there's like maybe two loops over here like this and just with my hands just work this through to um, connect the two sides and then this one you could just weave in um, to the stitches and if you want you could put a needle on here and then um, sew them in that'd be fine but you just want to make sure that this is hidden down in the you want to go into the bulkier stitches right here like that so just keep doing that until it's several inches into the piece and that um, and at one point you could do something like this like um, go a couple of times around a strand you just don't want that end to fall off and you can even work your way back to here where there's a little knot and just go knot back into there and then you want to match all these um, stitches up the bind off and the cast on and you want to um, you know end up down here where you're sewing that together but that's how you make a arm knitted scarf and it's really exciting so anyway, thank you very much for watching and the links to everything that I used is listed below and the website is Maggie's Crochet and um, please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.